Oh, hello, good morning. I'm assuming? Yes. Antonio. What's going on, man? All good. How are you? Oh, man, I'm doing well. Hey, that was a nice trick right there. Yeah. What well, do you call them tricks or they call it something else? It is. It is a trick. It's a stunt. It's a, no, it's not really a stunt. It's just <laughs> my way to get in. Your way to get in. <laughs> Looks like you've been riding for a while. So before we get into it, how long have you been riding, man? Uh, 30 years. 30 years? Yeah. When did you fall in love with it? Uh, when I was nine. When so you were nine. a long time ago, yeah. I competed for 30 years and recently kind of retired from competing and now it's like all focus on the events and, and projects so yeah all right speaking of events so what brings you here to Bentonville so I'm the event organizer and promoter of the Bentonville bike fest um, I started it a few years ago and uh, yeah it's been it's been generating a lot of momentum and uh, we're ready for the next one all right so like how how you get how did that get involved, man? Like how did it start? Like where does the inspiration come from? Yeah, so I travel the world constantly for uh, shows, for Red Bull, for NBA halftime shows, and um, I came here for actually to do a, a, a demo in the 21C hotel at a pajama party. A pajama party. A pajama party. Okay. Yeah, that was fun, <laughs> and I uh, they told me what they were gonna do here. That was already 11 years ago. And they said we want to make this a, a world class mountain bike destination. And at first I didn't really, you know, know what to expect. Um, and I came back five years later and they showed me all the trails what they, they were doing. And I couldn't believe it. And I've been like talking about it ever since and like been promoting it all over the world and telling my friends come over and uh, trying to get all the brands here. And you know, from one thing came the other and I was already organizing events in Europe. So I pitched the idea of doing an event here and here we are. Here in Benville. Yeah. So if I want to get involved, in this, how, what I gotta do? Yeah, so there's two things. You can sign, if you're a rider, a trials rider, a road biker, a gravel rider, you have a little kid at home on a balance bike, uh, you have a 15 year old, they can all sign up to race and there's a small entry fee. Or if you just wanna come and enjoy and try a bike out, like $5,000 bikes will be just for grabs and you can try it out like a few hours. Wow. You can do that, you can see bands, and that's all free. So all free. Riding, you gotta sign up and pay a little fee. But if you just wanna come enjoy the festival and like literally go to a like it's more, it's a little bit like a, a music festival. And then you also have Flatland, which is like break dancing on a BMX bike. Break dancing yeah, on a BMX. Yeah, with the world's best riders. We got this discipline, which is trials hopping on the most insane obstacles. That's something I've been doing for 30 years and I'm bringing all my friends from Europe, from Spain, the UK, Austria, Switzerland, uh, France. So they're all coming to compete. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be, especially trials, it's, it's gonna be something that most people have never seen before. Well, I am one of those people who haven't seen it quite often. You yeah. know what I mean? I've seen it on TV, but to have a world-renowned trial ride right here, Kenny, you gotta show us some stuff. Yeah, I can. Um, Actually, there's a lot of cool features on the other side of uh, the masterpiece, so. All right, let's go take a look, man. Yeah. What up?
So this was all the competition stuff, but actually we're also going to show like a little demo at Bike Fest. And then I always have like a little interaction with the crowd and then I ask them to lay down on the floor. So maybe you can like... Oh, you want me to lay yeah, on the floor? Maybe you can go me? down. Yeah, you. Okay. <laughs> all right. Just like that. Straight. No. Yep. And don't move. Don't. I'm, I'm not going to move. You know, it's a beautiful day. Yeah. Why should I move, you know? All right. So... Okay. Are All you right. scared yet or not? Oh, not yet, not yet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. A little shave right there. Yep. <laughs> He's not really scared. So open your arms now, and maybe your legs. All right. All right. So sometimes it goes wrong here. Oh, sometimes, okay, okay. Hi. Right. Good. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> all right, Kenny. That was pretty impressive. It's probably on my bucket list. You know, have someone wheels right over there. Yeah. I'm gonna take my head off. Yep. But I trusted you, man. You just gotta teach me how to do some of these tricks, or like a simple trick I can do, or I can teach my daughter, anyone. Exactly. So also at Bike Fest, you'll be able to see pros, but also learn from them, so you can sign up to go and ride with them. Okay. So uh, the what I do is trials. It's very controlled jumping from one obstacle to the other. And if you just do those basics, you take those basics on a normal mountain bike, you'll see it will make you faster, move around safer, go down, more controlled, okay. have less crashes. So what I always tell people is just to go on the bike and do a track stand. Track stand. Just standing still. All right. As controlled as you can. Oh, so yeah, you have your, you know if you have your right foot forward or your left foot forward, you know that? Oh yeah, I'm goofy footed, so. Goofy, so left foot. Left foot. So you turn your handlebar to the right. Turn the handlebar. Yeah. Yeah. So Use yeah. your brake slowly. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Matt, I, just keep practicing, keep practicing. All right. As soon as you got on the bike, I could already tell that you have uh, that natural oh, really? position on a bike, yeah. So First person ever told me that. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because it's on TV, you know, I'm like, very, very nice. <laughs> no, no, really, you're, the position was really natural. So that's a good start. So just like, you know, and here you can, we can cheat a bit, it's uphill. So that means the bike automatically wants to roll downhill. Yes. So if you push just a little bit on your pedals, that means the bike won't roll back. And you can, I call it wiggling. wiggling. So what's the longest you ever just stood in one spot? Uh, Man, I don't know. I never tried. Never tried? I don't want to try. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that, that could be something in the trial. <laughs> could be a few weeks. A few weeks. <laughs> I guess, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. Let me figure this out. All right, so maybe do a couple spins first around me, then come next to me and try to stand still as long as you can. All right. Yeah, good. Woo! Not easy yeah. looks. Yeah, no. Brake. 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 Stand up. All right. No, no, stand up. Don't pedal. Put your pedals flat. Yes, brake, brake, pull brake. Yeah, handlebar to the right. Yes, left. Yep, like this. On the left, you push a little bit on your pedal. You go forward a little bit. And push, push on your left pedal. Yeah, you go forward. You go back. You roll back. Forward and back. Like you. Yeah. Right. Feel like it. You balance. Look, it's that balance. Look, look there. Look there. Maybe, maybe I'm right. Who knows? Uh, maybe you're right. Yeah, you're, you're definitely yeah, right. right. I'm definitely right. You're definitely right. All right. <laughs> All right. We took off from the wrong foot, literally. There it is. So, um, this is something you can like, this kind of stuff, right? Just, you can do in your garage in winter when it's cold, like this kind of stuff. Just moving around. You, you maybe like, you go like and ride a figure eight, just like that, on the ground. And you do it as short as you can. Turn around as short as you can as tight as you can. Okay. Like all this kind of small exercises that you can do at home will make you a better rider. So, Kenny, I appreciate it. Yeah. I'm gonna take this training that you taught me and yep. hopefully I'll see you at the bike fest. No, hopefully I see you. All right, <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for this. I'll take care. It. Bye.